So although mask wearing is not technically mandatory, it is to get in and out of busy places, especially shopping centers and uh, public venues. So we need our Paduli Lingle app. Now here's the problem. My vaccination tickets are from New Zealand, but my passport's from Australia, and the app doesn't seem to recognize the fact that you can have multiple countries contributing information. So I put all the information in and it rejects it straight away. Anyway, so I'm going to scan in as they ask me to do the right thing. Here we go. Check it. Ah, it's all part of the system. So today, have a bit of a look through level 21 mall, which is a small mall in the middle of Denpasar. It's a bit of a wander through. Come down, what do we got here? Lots of carnation milk. A whole series of food. Yeah, these are these are interesting, a roti boy. That's um well it is Dutch. Uh, bread, very sweet, a lot of it, a bit like a donut. Um, and they do a really nice coffee crusted one which is um <laughs> which is quite interesting um, but yeah, quite a nice little multi-story mall So you've got plenty of food stalls here. Ramen, sushi, chicken. Lots of uh, like bubble tea or um, flavored drinks. Not quite like milkshakes, but a bit similar. All right, the third floor, kids station, naughty. Oh, naughty corner. <laughs> That's where it might belong. Not the same one. So, I'm probably the only white person in the store today, 
Here we are, some plastic wrap sneakers. Hello. They're pretty cool. Just look at these. Prescription sunnies, eh? Luggage, makeup. The bar house. Fitness. How many times you walk up there and search, right? Five times today. Look at that. And also bring the thing. So here we are. Just a, a quick look around the shopping centre here at level 21. They've got a beautiful cinema upstairs. You've got your, your time zone for all the kids. Some souvenirs down the back. Knickknacks, kids' clothes, food courts. You name it. Quite a nice little place. Here we go, there's a transformer. That's a pretty cool costume. Um, and I actually found another couple of tourists or white people in the, in the um, restaurant that I'm having a little bit of lunch. So we're going to have a bit of teppanyaki for lunch today. Some beef teppanyaki or something like that. I want to check it out. The smell of those crepes is so sickly sweet that oh, I don't know. I really don't like the bread over here, I've got to say. But um, they definitely have a sweet tooth, and they've also got fairly high rates of diabetes, which is not a good mix, especially when you consider a huge percentage of their diet is either rice or noodles, which are both carbs. So they're uh, they're battling a bit, but it's um it's a pretty cool mall. It's beautifully clean, <coughs> as a pharmacy, home living store. There are quite a few of these just general malls. It's not massive. It's uh, vertical, about three or four layers up, I think four levels, including the cinema up the top. Um, and a reasonable selection of food. And, uh, and lots of clothes. So one thing with the clothes, I'll give you a heads up. They don't generally cover clothes for the um, for the plus sizes. So I can't normally walk into many shops in Bali. These sort of small sort of shops or whatever. Unless they're in a tourist area, 90% of the sizes go up to a fair bit short of my size. Um, so I gotta be a little bit more selective where I go. Hello. Hey, hey. <laughs> Chai time, a lot of tea, a lot of drinks. Now, you might find English is not a second language to a lot of people here, so if you are just exploring the um, non-tourist areas of Bali, you can get by normally. There's enough people normally speak broken English or basic English, but you're doing a little bit of sign language and, and stuff like that sometimes to, uh, to sort of get your point across.
So I got a nice little supermarket here. A little more. Lots of these sweet rolls and cakes. A nice selection of fresh fruit and vegetables. And some really unusual fruits. This is like a giant orange. It's a citrus or a mandarin a bit. Some rock melon, some watermelon. So there's <laughs> some fruits that are hard to uh, hard to work out what they are. Um, dragon fruit. Lots of different types of mangoes. These are the avocados and some more over there. I think they're avocados. Hey, I don't know. I'm just a bloke in Bali trying to trying to work it out as go. Now these are quite nice. These are like a crisp apple sort of thing on the inside. And oh. And that's how they normally buy their apples, individually wrapped. And they're about six bucks a kilo. Which is not too bad. Five dollars a kilo, individually wrapped. Generally the produce is not bad actually. Um, your little there's your cauliflower. <laughs> Look at the size of that. Um, and that's about four bucks a kilo. Um, there's some things you don't get very often. Um, got five bucks a kilo for oranges. Lots of salad sort of leaves and bok choys and stuff like that. Ice creams, frozen goods. Lots of convenience for the food. Popcorn chicken and frozen nuggets. Chicken cheese. Chips. Frozen peas. They don't look very nice. They sort of look like they've um, been frozen. It. Those ones have been frozen three or four times or two, is it? They're not, they're not my canes. <laughs> so, and you've got lots of garlic and onions and staples, eggs, tofu, sausages, sausages. Right, nice. Lots of long life milks, a lot more long life milks than, than fresh milk, but you can get fresh milk at a lot of places so if you're coming over now check this out this is how they sell margarine and you just cut the corner off and squirt it on now the weird thing is even though it's bloody hot over here it, it must have emulsifiers or something to keep it quite firm at, at 30 degrees because they don't, it doesn't turn all runny if you had much uh, the margarine left it out of the fridge at home it would just turn to snot after about 25 degrees so uh, and that's if you buy lots of Margarines, it's actually a, a little bit hard to buy butter. You can also buy your, your margarine in a, in a big tub like that. And butter's not, not cheap at all. It's about $7 for a half kilo or something like that. It's quite bloody expensive. Um, and it's it's uh, Aussie, or no, sorry, Kiwi butter. So it's nice stuff, but it's certainly not cheap. All, all these disposable satchels and stuff. I guess instead of hard plastic waste, it's a lot more collapsible and and uh, packs down tighter. Oh, we've got juice. Your court's really popular now. I tell you what, they go through a bucket loads of your court, and I think it could have a lot to do with their gut health and how um, how resilient they are to things like what we would say barley belly or or bugs because they do eat a lot more. Now let's see what they've got here. Um, now that's only, that's quite cheap, that's only five bucks for a, um, it says you get near them. Ah, oh. I know you, uh, I'm on. you are my <laughs> I, yeah, I'm I saw you, she's on fans, I, I saw you, yeah I've seen you, I saw you on the internet, yeah. I saw you on <laughs> YouTube, oh, <laughs> you <laughs> There's lunatics everywhere. <laughs> Luckily, this one's mine. <laughs> oh. um, yeah, so is that on special? What's it saying? Uh, the price has become quite uh, 50. So 200 grams. Yep. We're paying $5.40. Yeah. 
down from six dollars fifty no. roughly um and what are these ones here seven usually it's uh, buy one get one yeah seven well it's not now they had buy one get one so these are seven dollars uh, buy our money for 200 grams anchor new zealand butter mm -mm. more new zealand butter there uh that's still not cheap and i'll tell you what about the margarine the butter flavored margarine if you like that really rich buttery flavor in your popcorn which i do you're probably not going to like the same overly salty sort of buttery flavor on your peanut butter because the butter that they have here is really strongly flavored so um i'm not real fussed at all um on their on their margarine the buttery one um i found one that's not so bad or maybe i'm just getting used to it but um uh, not fast, not fast at all. Oh, Three dollars for a litre of milk, of fresh milk. And you got A2 milk for actually cheaper. How can I figure that? Um, it's, a, it's about 10 cents cheaper for, for the A2 fresh milk compared to the El Cheapo normal milk. I find it quite hard to eat what I would consider my normal sort of meal because so many of the individual foods are compromised or different or flavored in a different way or, or whatever so when i cook um to try to get the same flavors and the same textures and stuff as i'm used to i find it quite hard but you just make do with what you can and and that's one of the reasons i, I don't cook as much here not only because i don't have as much cooking facility but um the restaurants when they're, they're buying stuff in bulk and they're especially the Aussie Aussie owned restaurants or, or pubs they know where to get, get produce that actually gets in that authentic home flavor which um, is something you really bloody miss after you've been away for a while cereal's not really big over here um, and it's not cheap either wheat mix like this a small packet of wheat mix for $11 a little tiny pack here, there's six bucks worth of wheat bits there. Mm -mm. So, yeah, it's um, it's not hard to shop here and get nice food. If you like the local foods, there's a lot of a lot of variety in all the Asian, like uh, uh, Japanese and uh, uh, all the different types of Asian foods you'll get here. And you get the chips, right, caramel flavoured rice pops and seaweed flavoured taro netting. Um, uh, so a lot of the a lot of stuff like these, sickly sweet, strawberry ice cream pillows, um, oh, and sambal matar flavour chips or crisps or something. I don't know. Um, banana crunch, banana crisps, lots of water, tons of water, some old favourites like the old um, Doritos and stuff, but uh, oh, here's my, here's my one, got all the different beers now, someone asked me about beers, you're paying uh, nearly three bucks for a, for a small Guinness, some big ones down the bottom there as well, a large bin tank, it's only three bucks and a small one is two dollars thirty just roughly um so you don't have a massive you've got a bit of budweiser some guinness some draft beer san miguel carlsberg not a massive selection and they've got a few of these soda pop things here cranberry grapefruit you cannot go pictures in small area I'm afraid I'm going to have to issue a citation. Can you validate this? Sir, sir, I'm warning you, sir. Oh, sir. Sir. You're a nasty old man. Our security's fine, but ultimately we rely on the hope that nothing ever goes down.